हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दिस टीचर विदेश सो आई गॉट लाइक लॉट ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम द अवर व्यूअर्स लाइक सो आई शुड क्रिएट एटलीस्ट वन वीडियो अबाउट माई सेल्फ एंड अबाउट माई जर्नी हाउ डिड आई स्विच फ्रॉम अकेडमिया टू इंडस्ट्री या दैट इज़ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट राइट टू फाइंड लॉट ऑफ वीडियोज हाउ टू स्विच बट आई एम जस्ट आई वॉन्ट टू शेयर माई एक्सपीरियंस how did i switch from academia to industry so basically i was teaching in the private engineering college in india and what i thought right so if you like for example after getting my masters from uh, london i came back to india and i started teaching in the private engineering college so after working for like so many years as a lecturer in the engineering college i thought if i want to stay in academics i have to do phd right i have to do phd and if i do a phd from like a european university i will get more exposure something like that that's i was thinking like this right because that time i did not think like i should switch from academia to industry yeah so basically my masters was from electronics engineering wheel side design typical to typically if i say my masters what was the specialization so my masters was masters in system on chip design for dsp and communication so big name but uh, overall if you say like in few words i say masters in wheel side design right so i did this my masters from university of westminster london bachelor's i already did in from india in electronics and communication engineering so i forget about it but i i just want to tell my like experience how did i switch from academic to industry so then what i thought like i should find a phd position in europe some people say go for search for us search in canada uk or something like that i already did my masters from uk right but i searched a lot like from internet like so what i found if i move to europe in any country doesn't matter big big country or small country doesn't matter because there is a lot of programs like erasmus program so all for example if you spend some years at one university or one country you can uh, do some training or some like one semester in another country as well but uh, basically i it's basically this is related to bachelor and master but for my case like i was searching for phd but it's still for phd you can do the trainings and even spend semester like in other country as well so i was not thinking for the country specific right i was just searching related to my field i had the interest towards signal processing techniques so what i did maybe you can hear a lot of noise right right you see beautiful view behind me yeah this is the basically the okay i just also wanted to tell this is the basically region this in vasa city of vasa finland and this is like uh, you can say uh, one of the uh, we can say the healthcare local healthcare municipality healthcare it's not a very famous place where i'm sitting i'm just sitting like nearby my municipality just like a park like you see like i'm just sitting there so okay let's come to the topic so i i was not looking for a specific country because doesn't matter which country i i i want to move i have to move from my home country right so if i have to move from india it doesn't matter it can poland france germany denmark whatever even doesn't matter right for me so i was not looking for a country this is very good advice for you to not look for a country if you want to leave your home country for you everything is foreign country right wherever you go it's a foreign country right and if you find another opportunity you can switch from that country to another country and europe this is the very good thing because if you switch from one country right you can easily move to other country i will i will come to that point later on but so i was searching for the signal processing technique like phd in signal processing technique and i found many countries right many universities where i found okay this 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 that at that time i had only two research articles 
and without impact factor nothing seriously i am telling you without impact factor in if i say those article were waste in my opinion i clearly say those article were waste nothing it's just a very local journal in, uh, they were published in the local journal and without any impact factor they were not indexed even in the web of science so i know like i i knew that time right because i had no good publication so i started uh, finding i started searching like uh, in uh, like uh, all countries right so i found uh, one position basically in the ultrasonic signal processing techniques uh, for non destructive testing and that uh, that position was published by ultrasound research institute of konis university of technology lithuania and very frankly i say at that time i did not know that lithuania is any country now this is this is here in my heart the country i love country i am living finland i love finland but the country because of that country i am here because of that institute i am here because of that university i am here at this position to talking in front of you guys yes and i am very lucky to get a position at ultrasound research institute of konis university of technology okay so you see i found the position i immediately sent email sent email to the supervisor i got email id gladas rai sutis and uh, i asked his number and he gave me his no mobile number and i i contacted him via whatsapp and he told me you can contact me anytime you see you see and i contacted i discussed and he described about the this phd opportunity and uh, uh, he helped me right uh, to fill up the application what i need to fill up because i have some doubts he helped me a lot and finally uh, uh, finally i submitted my uh, online application to konas university of technology and uh, more specifically like the at particular institute ultrasound research institute of konas university of technology and i got selected yes during the interview process it's about 20 20 or 30 minutes so uh, basically my masters degree uh, from london it also helped me but more specifically if you are very honest and clear to say like okay i know this this i have interest towards signal processing and all and they asked me some questions like uh, what about your family like for example if you come to lithuania what about your family and all how could you manage and also there's a lot of questions they asked but everything like finally i sorted out and then i got a uh, like offer letter from the university that you got a funded position yes so i found the funded position and then i moved to lithuania in uh, i think i reached to lithuania January 2015 I reached to Lithuania and I started my PhD there right uh within 6 months of my PhD within 6 months of my PhD uh I got a job as a lecturer because I saw the advertisement in uh like online advertisement in Lithuania I started job searching as well while doing my PhD I was getting a scholarship as well right but I started also searching like uh, for a job because as a lecturer so i found one position and they asked me to teach like programming so i had little experience little knowledge of programming but uh, not specifically c sharp programming but somehow i got the position because i passed in the interview and i got a position like as a lecturer so i started teaching there right and during my phd seriously if you trust me or not my supervisor he taught me from the beginning right from the beginning how to create a write a report report how to like write a research article how to like uh, uh, contact to the editors of the journals and all everything he taught me from the beginning even for example um, uh, in the matlab he like he taught me a lot i knew, I, i knew some matlab but uh, but uh, he taught me like a lot like so i got a very good command in matlab apart from signal processing techniques and lot of things you know you know like he used to teach me i i am thankful to ronaldo sarais because i cannot forget his name right and slowly slowly right uh, i started learning because first two years like maybe took a lot of time maybe 
he also got frustrated kumar i don't think like he said to me like i don't think like uh, you can even finish your phd but uh, i started a lot of like hard work and uh, within the, during my phd i published maybe eight articles with high impact factor in web of science journal can you believe it eight articles in last two years only because first two years i did not publish any article and in last two years i published eight articles with high impact factor journals i will uh, also post uh, in the description box the link so you can find my articles and what my work is but but you see so and also one more thing i want to tell you maybe i will create a separate video about my supervisor because i'm very thankful to him and apart from the academics like he also had me a lot regarding my personal things as well but so and also i got that uh, lithuanian research council project also so i also worked on that project so i got additional funding and additional money apart from my lecturer and uh, and phd uh, like phd stipend and lecture job and moreover within 2 years my phd i also got offer from my supervisor so i got a permanent position as a researcher you understand junior researcher at the institute and later it, i was promoted to researcher so this is all this all was happening and when i was like uh, going to finish my phd i got a lot of like experience by writing and i lot of techniques i learned during my phd uh, programming i was teaching so i like learned some programming as well and here in the teaching i learned data analysis matlab python and lot of things i learned so one day i was just sitting and i was thinking maybe why should i not move to industry because i spent a lot of years in the academics i learned a lot i got more exposure now can i try to academics then i searched like on the internet how could i switch from academia to industry and i found it is very difficult if you spent many years as a lecturer or researcher in academics it is very very difficult to switch to the industry but i thought why so what i did during the final year of my phd what i started looking at the link on the linkedin and i used to find the uh, job search like uh, i used to searching a job a job requirements i used to go through and check what they require basically okay for example in the signal processing they require okay you should have the c programming right there because clearly i see c programming you must have c programming knowledge you must have signal processing okay signal processing is definitely is essential requirement but you know c let's see programming you know little bit about the git something like that so you should have the knowledge about agile methodology because in the industry because most of the software industry they work in they use agile methodology uh, to uh, to work as a team right so i started learning these techniques by myself yeah so basically about the c programming and all so i used to learn by myself and i also work, uh, was working as a lecturer for, to teach c sharp programming so i started learning c language and this by myself slowly slowly i improved myself i was still doing my phd right and other things whatever the skills i checked okay it is required this 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 i used to check daily what are the job requirements linux environment this that whatever i used to search a lot so i used to i started improving myself you understand because in this internet era there is no excuse you cannot say you are not getting any like help or courses you do not have money to attend the courses you can learn by yourself and then i started applying before finishing my phd and i maybe first five or 10 times i did not get any call right so i started improving my cv and cover letter because i posted my videos right about cv and cover letter because you know like i had the experience which cv and which cover letter works right so i got a call from that baker and hughes germany i got a call from uh you blocks means many companies i cannot i do not want to take names of like uh, companies and then finally i got a call from wasila and then i 
may be about the interview process and all i cannot disclose this is against the ethics but finally i got selected in the watsila after four rounds yeah after four rounds like uh, for example online test of our c language programming language c and about the uh, hr related test some questionnaire and then uh, general discussion with the uh, hiring manager and finally they called me to the finland vasa they called me they booked my ticket and they booked my hotel and they called me from lithuania to watsila like here uh, vasa like uh, company at watsila watsila or vasa office sorry watsila company at vasa office they have offices all around the finland but they called me in vasa and finally the uh, it was a face to face interview round and finally i got selected that's it so that that's the way i moved from academia to industry so what is my advice here if you are planning to shift from academia to industry you have to think in like in advance like for example if you want to switch after one year so this one year you take like in the preparation because lot of like requirements you can find for well, like for example uh, signal processing engineer or software programmer whatever mechanical engineer you will find the requirements like i used to search daily and what are the requirement i used to upgrade myself accordingly right because i was not working in industry so this is this was my responsibility to upgrade myself and i did i did that is why i am here so about how to prepare for the interviews and what is that this and that maybe i will create separate videos for that because otherwise this video will be too long and about my supervisor how to find a good supervisor it is not possible right but but what should be the quality of good supervisor that can i i definitely tell you because i had the experience so that is all about my journey and thank you very much for watching this video thank you very much for connecting to desi teacher in videsh because because of all your support this channel is monetized right i i i do not know because you came to know or not this channel is monetized within 3 to 4 months so thank you very much and see you in the next video bye bye